In this video, we'll discuss how we can create searchable data validation list without using VBA. Here is my data validation list. If I click on down arrow, I can see all my operator names. If I want to select name, I have to scroll down and find the name. And here comes the part of searchable. If I enter the keyword LEN and click on down arrow, I can see only those name which includes the keyword LEN. If I enter the keyword MAL and click on down arrow, I can see all the operator names which includes the keyword MAL. And if I delete this value, then I can see all my operator names. And we used to write a VBA code or a complex function to create a searchable data validation list in Excel. But now in Office 365 and Office 2021, we can use dynamic arrays function like a filter. Let's see how we can create searchable data validation list without using VBA. Here is my unique list of operator name and my raw data in a separate tab. In here, I want my data validation list. If I select the name, I want month-wise doc process details down here. And if I enter the keyword LEN, then I want all the operator names which includes the keyword LEN as a separate list. And I want my separate list here. Here we can use a search function. So I want my separate list here. Let's enter the search function. Equal to search. Bracket open. And the search function has three parameters. Find text. So I want to find this text. Comma. The second parameter is within text. I want to search this text here in this list. Shift down to select the entire list, comma, and the third parameter is start number. From which position you want to search? In this case, from first to position, I want to search my value. And the default value is one. I will leave it blank and close the bracket and press enter. And the formula will spell down. If this keyword exists in the operator name, then we'll get the position number of the keyword, else we'll get the error. If I enter the keyword JA, so this keyword is exist, so we'll get the position number. If the keyword does not exist, then we'll get the hash value error here. Let's convert this into a true false. And here we can use is number function to convert this into true or false value. Is number. And close the bracket here. Now you can see the values got converted to true false. Again, if I enter the keyword len, if the value exists, then we'll get true, else we'll get false. And the next is we have to filter only the true values. Let's use filter function to filter only the true values. Equal to filter. Filter function has three parameters. The first parameter is array. Array means which column of information you need as an output. So that column you have to select here. In this case, we need operator names. Let's select the operator name list here, comma, and the second parameter is include. We already set up the formula to get true false, and this include parameter will filter only the true values, comma, and the last parameter is if empty. If nothing is fine, then I want the value as not found. Now close the bracket, press enter. Now this filter function just filter the true values. If I enter the keyword JA, wherever this keyword is exist, 
will get only those name here and if you want to sort this data you can wrap this sort function here let's do this sort bracket open and close the bracket it will sort the data here next we have to create a data validation list here let's go to data menu click on data validation in a settings tab select list and here in source reference text box select the first cell where we have our main formula and enter the hash symbol this hash symbol will select the spell range now click on ok now we have that operator name list here if I enter LEN and click on Don Arrow, we'll get this an error message. This value does not match the data validation restriction defined for this cell. This is because we have entered the keyword LEN, which does not exist in our list. Let's cancel this. Go back to data validation. In error alert tab, Disable this option show error alert after invalid data is entered. I'll click on OK. Now if I type LEN and click on down arrow, then I can see all the names which includes the keyword LEN. If I type MAL and click on down arrow, then I can see only those names which includes the keyword MAL. Let's, let's select this name. And the next is when user select the name I want monthwise doc process details done here. Let's enter the filter function here to get the monthwise doc process details. And my raw data is here in a separate tab. So I want this month doc count, error count and the major count. So let's enter the filter function equal to filter bracket open. And the first parameter is array. Array means which column of information you need as an output that you have to select here. In this case, from this data menu, I want these four columns. Let's select this all four columns. Control Shift down to select the entire range, comma. And the second parameter is include. So what we want to include? This operator name. In this operator name list is equal to go back to our search sheet and this value whatever value will select from the data validation list comma the last parameter is if empty if nothing is fine then I want the value as not found now close the bracket and press enter next time when I enter the keyword LEN and click on down arrow, I can see all the operator names which includes the keyword LEN. Now let's select one name from this list and we will have a list uh, month wise doc process details here. I hope this video helped you understand how we can create searchable data validation list without using VBA code. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.